today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry 1501 the topic for today is average atomic mass lesson 101 let us start in this lesson we are going to look at how to calculate the average atomic mass of an element using its isotopes and also how to calculate the percentage abundance of each isotope when you are given the average atomic mass let's get to it now let us look at the first example which we are going to look at the average atomic mass of magnesium magnesium has three isotopes the first one is magnesium 24 the second one is magnesium 25 the third one is magnesium 26 their percentage abundance the first one is 78.70 percent 10.13 percent and the third one is 11.17 percent these are the isotopes of magnesium we need to calculate the average atomic mass of magnesium there is an equation that we are going to use the equation is average atomic mass normally it's amu we are going to take the mass of the first isotope multiplied by its percentage plus the mass of the second isotope multiplied by its percentage plus the mass of the third isotope multiplied by its percentage now you should know that the percentage before we actually substitute we are going to express it in decimal form how do you express it in decimal form we simply divide by 100 but we can actually do something with the equation we can simply say each and every multiplication or product we divide by 100 so when we take this one whereby we divide by 100 we can simply take the percentages the way they are but i prefer that we actually convert before we substitute so in this case we are calculating the average atomic mass of magnesium the first mass is 24 then the percentage we simply take this value we divide by 100 our answer is 0.787 plus the second one is 25 uh, multiplied by the percentage I mean the percentage multiplied by 100 it's 0 0.1013 plus the third mass is 26 0 0.1117 then we, when we calculate all these values we are going to get 24.3 amo now this is the average atomic mass of magnesium when we have its isotopes let us look at the second example our second example is a bit different from the first this one we are actually given the average atomic mass of gallium which is 69.72 and then we are given the isotopes the masses of the isotopes and then we are looking for the percentages I mean percent abundance of each isotope now before we actually continue looking at the previous example what we didn't actually discuss is that when we add these percentages they add up to 100 those are the percentage abundance when you add them they add up to 100 and then after dividing them talking about these values in decimals they add up to one you should take note of that why do we say they add up to one let us look at these percentages quickly 
plus 10.13 plus 11.17. This is equals to add up to 100. Now, if we divide each and every percentage by 100, including the total, we can see that this will result into this, this will result into this, and then this will result into this, and then 100, since these zeros will cancel each other, will be equals to 1. So you can see that the decimals, they add up to 1. That will actually assist us to calculate our percentage abundances. Now using our equation, since we only have two isotopes, we are going to end at M2, percentage 2. We have our average atomic mass, which is 69.72, equals to the mass, it's 68.926. And then the percentage, the first percentage, let us say it's X. Remember, this X is the one which is converted to decimals after dividing. Then the second one is 70.925. Then we are going to represent it using Y. Now, remember I said these decimals, when you add them, they result into 1 or they sum up to 1. So X plus Y is equal to 1. Now, when we solve for Y, transposing X to the other side, we have Y is equal to 1 minus X. Now, with this information, we can actually... rewrite our equation as where we see y we substitute by this which is 1 minus x then from there we can simply perform uh, operation mathematical operations by solving for x so we have 69.72 it's equals to 68.926 x plus this multiplied by 1, it's 70.925. And then this multiplied by negative x is negative 70.925x. Now you can see that we have like terms, which is this one and this one. So we can simply transpose this to the other side. Then we are going to have 69.72 minus 70.925. It's equals to... 68.926 minus 70.925x. I mean to say x here. Now, this minus this is equals to negative 1.205 equals to this d minus this is equals to negative 1.999x. Divide both sides by negative 1.999. X is equal to 0 0.603. That is our value of X. It's actually the first percentage abundance of our first isotope. To find the second one, you said y is equals to 1 minus x. So it's y is equals to 1 minus 0 0.603, which is equals to 0 0.397. Now, if you want to convert to percents, from decimal to percents, we simply multiply this by 100 and also this one by 100. Remember from percentage, from percents to decimals, we divided by 100. Then if you're looking for the percents, we multiply by 100. So this will be 60.3. And then this one will be 70. No, actually not 70. It's 39.7%. When you add 
the two, they will add up to 100%. Now, this is how we actually calculate the average atomic mass of an element when we are given the isotopes. And this is how we actually find the percentage abundance of the isotopes when we are given the average atomic mass of an element. This is lesson 101. Mostly this is the basics. And then for more practice question, do watch lesson 102 of average atomic mass. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.